if you also want to use your own personal GPT, which you can use offline. Also, you can use it with 100% data security. So I am going to explain you each and every step from scratch how to install and run local GPT in your Mac OS. First, I go to the GitHub, named Local GPT. Here, you will get the, all the information about the local GPT. As you can see, with using local GPT to our system, we can chat with our documents and files with proper data security. You can use it offline without a network connection. Local GPT offers enhanced privacy and security by keeping your data within your own system. This eliminates the risk of sensitive information being exposed to third-party providers and gives you complete control over your data. In the feature section, you can clearly seize the advantage to using local GPT, like versatile model support, API, and many more. In terms of document inference, local GPT has practical applications like document summarization, language translation assistance, data exploration, document-based queries, document-based conversations, content extraction, and many more. If you want more information about the local GPT, you can scroll down, like GPU and VRM requirement and system requirement. After doing all these things, scroll up and click on the code button, then copy the repository. After copying the repository, open your terminal. Step one, git clone the repository. Type git clone, then paste the copied link of repository and hit enter. Is to clone the local GPT repository using git. This will download the local GPT code base to your machine. After it is complete, you can see a new folder name local GPT has been created to your system. Open the folder and you can see all the files it have. Now we have to create our separate conda environment for our model. Step two, to create a conda environment, use this command. Where local GPT is the name of our environment, then hit enter. Type Y to proceed. After doing this thing, we have to activate our conda environment. To activate the environment, use conda activate local GPT command. As you can see, we are inside our environment. After this, heads towards our next step. Step three, install dependencies using. For this use pip, install rrequirements.txt command and hit enter. This command will install all the requirement libraries and packages to your system. It will take some time to install all the libraries and packages. After it is done, we have to set up our Apple Mac GPU. Step 3. Installing Llama CPP. Use this command to set up Metal GPU. And do not afraid of this all commands because I will share my article link in description where you get all the codes or commands with proper instruction and feel free to comment if you are facing any problem. By default, it will use Llama LLM, but in case if you want to change the model, just open the local GPT folder. Here, you see a file with name constants.py. Open the file. Scroll down, and here you see many other LLM models, like we have Mistral model, Llama 2 model with 70 billion and 13 billion parameter. You can choose any one of them by just remove the comment from the model which you want to use in future. Like I want to use Mistral model, I simply remove the comment from the Mistral model command and comment out previous model. Congratulations on successfully setting up your local GPT environment. Now let's take it a step further by ingesting your own data, enabling you to interact with your documents using local GPT. Step 5. Ingesting your data. We use python ingest.py command, which is used to embedding the text of your system to vector database, which we're going to use by our model to answer. Here you can see it uses orca paper PDF and import data of this document. After importing it, cuts or splits the large document to small chunks. If you want to see the Orca document, again open the local GPT folder. Here you see a folder name, Source Documents. Open the folder. Here is our Orca document. Double-click to open the file. You can check the documents. Now, heads towards our last step. Step 6. Chatting with your documents.
To interact with your ingested documents, use this command python run local gpt.py. Similar to the ingestion step, the first run requires an internet connection to download the LLM. After the initial download, you can disconnect from the internet and the script will still work. No data leaves your local environment. Here you can see our Mistral model is installing right now and it is of Aprox 4 GB. After this completion, you can write your query. Like asked, tell me about the paper and summarize it. After this model, give me all the information related to my query. You can ask anything related to your system data or documents. This video is not done yet. If you want web interface like I have shown to you at the beginning, for this, open a terminal and activate the Python environment containing the dependencies installed from requirements.txt. Navigate to the local GPT directory. Use this command python run local GPT API dot py command. Then hit enter. Wait until everything has loaded. Now open a second terminal and activate the same Python environment. Navigate to the local GPT directory. Run this command python local GPT UI dot py. After this hit enter, when the code is executed completely, you see a HTTP link. Copy the link and paste it to your web browser. And hence, your interface will look like this and you can freely ask any query related to your system document with proper security. Hope you will like this video and unlock the future with us. Subscribe for more cutting edge tech insights.